For Paige McBride, texting is a part of life. The only time I'm out without my phone is if I forget it somewhere, and that happens like almost never. Do you sleep with your phone? Yeah, I do. It's right next to me on my bed, <laughs> on loud. But this is two glucose testing meter insulin shots. She's a type 1 diabetic. Her doctor at Nationwide Children's Hospital is taking those two worlds and merging them. She's getting ready to go to college, mm -hmm. so um, we're going to be in touch and making sure that all the new challenges of college um, don't affect her diabetes care, and I'm just a text away. Pediatric endocrinologist Jennifer Dyer put Paige in a very small pilot study, sending texts to her and two other patients to keep in touch about their diabetes care, specifically keeping up with their insulin shots. The results? What I like to say is their diabetes report card um, improved drastically um, from a C minus to a B plus. Dr. Dyer says long term that could keep the disease under control. The relationship has grown in the meantime. Have you been Googling carbs? Oh, too? yeah, I Google a lot. And now Dyer is working on an automated iPhone application that could help hundreds of patients. It's um, texting you, reminding you, and sometimes I forget. On the horizon, reaching patients on different social media websites with mobile health applications for doctors everywhere. Because that's where people are. They're on. They're in social media sites. That's where they're spending their time. So if people are spending their time in the bowling alley, if I want to make a difference for somebody that has diabetes, well, I need probably need to be at the bowling alley too. It's a high-tech twist on the house call concept.